68,000 plus in Philadelphia. And this game brought to you in high definition by Sony. Norv Turner in his second year with the Raiders. Grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, former head coach at Washington, so he knows the environs well. Played the Eagles twice a year while head manning the skins. And Andy Reid in his seventh season, now the winningest coach in Philadelphia history. Grew up in Los Angeles in the shadows of Dodger Stadium. Used to sell chocolate malts at Dodger Stadium and carry his Steve Yeager glove with him, a catcher in high school. Randy Moss from Minnesota. 418, he said his first year as a rookie with the Vikings and that's why he selected one eight and the reverse of that eight one Terrell Owens from San Francisco a year ago you know of his travails this year was kicked out of training camp for a week by Andy Reid but Reid says I love the guy I understand he just wanted more money Donovan McNabb he and uh, Owens uh, may not talk much verbally but they sure talk with that football he knows how to get it to a star. The Raiders won the toss will receive their rookie from Boise State Chris Carr along with Doug Gabriel stand deep. We'll watch David Akers a right hamstring injury and there was some doubt as to whether or not he would be able to play but he's in there and sends a good spinner down to Carr at the five. And he's wrestled down at the 25 yard line by Jason Short. Strong armed Kerry Collins directs the Raiders offense. Collins is now the 25th quarterback in NFL history to throw for at least 30,000 yards. First pick of Carolina back in 95. On the kicking team, number 21. That penalty will be assessed five yards. We'll re kick. So they're going to re kick, and meanwhile, Akers running down after that kickoff is being helped off the field. That's not a good sign for the Eagles. Remember, Mark Seminole, a linebacker, had to kick an extra point last week. Well, David Akers, a left footed kicker here, gets into the football. Remember, it's his right hamstring. And did you see his leg buckle right there as he planted his right leg? Akers kicked during the week. He kicked on Friday completely pain free. <laughs> And wait a minute now is he going to come back out and kick off again. Well that is about as fast a recovery as a guy can undergo the way he looked going off looked like he needed help to get off the field and <laughs> that looked like a serious hammy didn't it 30 seconds later he's back out. Well you <laughs> coaches often will explain that he's a kicker isn't well, he? it almost looked like his ankle rolled over it looked like uh, he planted it very awkwardly. And you talk about a mindless penalty being off sides on a kickoff is one of the worst penalties in football. It's just there's no excuse for it. There's nothing to draw you off sides. It's just a lack of concentration and you make the other 10 guys sprint all the way down the field again and give your opponent a chance for a big play. It's a it's a frustrating penalty. Let's see Dan how big a difference it makes. The Raiders had it at the 25. Now they tee it up at the Eagle 25 after the five yard mark off and Akers is hurt on top of it. Now let's see how much he gets into this one. Carr and Gabriel sneak up closer to the 10 yard line. A little more gingerly there oh. wasn't he? And he line drives uh, one down and another flag and Carr 30 32 yard line and Akers now that's amazing that he'd come back out and try he's agonizing in pain and another flag has been thrown. Not only is Akers hurt but penalized again I believe are going to be the Eagles. Look at that they barely got to oh. the ball. Uh, Upside on the kickoff number 75. That penalty will be assessed five yards. Re kick. They're going to re kick uh, it again. Now, when's the last time we've seen three kickoffs to start the game? Well, give David Akers a lot of credit for toughing it out. But this is, you got the rest of the season to think about now. You just can't blow your hamstring to the point where it might be a three or a four month injury. Yeah, this isn't an average oh, uh, placement kicker. No. He's a three time Pro Bowler, one of the very best in the entire NFL. Last season set a record with 17 field goals from 40 yards or longer. There's your backup emergency kicker Bartram also their long snapper. So Bartram 
will do the best he can. A longtime veteran made a living snapping the ball and one of the most accurate in the business. Well, I, 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 I'm not good at forecasting, Dick, but I, I can forecast one thing. Uh, I'll bet you that John Harbaugh, the special teams coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, he, he just didn't have enough left in that right leg. Back to you. All right, Armin, maybe we can find out who will try extra points. Will it be Bartram or Semino? And they're just a ball if it goes out of bounds. And now the Markoff penalty will give the Raiders the ball at the 50 yard line. Out of bounds on a normal kickoff from the 30. It's the 40, but they've been penalized twice for offside, so the Raiders start this game at the 50. Kickoff out of bounds on the kicking team. That ball will be put in play. 30 yards from where the kick took place. It'll be first and 10 for Oakland on the 50 yard line. Well, Nora Turner couldn't want it any better than that. Let's take a look at the Raider offensive line up front. Mammoth Robert Gallery, last year's number one pick. He'll be trying to block Javon Kurz and acquired from the Jets. Lamont Jordan leads in yards rushing and in number of catches with 11. Zach Crockett joins him in the backfield. That's Jerry Porter in motion. Moss is to the left of the formation. Jordan for a couple and another flag. Kalu and Trotter collaborate on the tackle, and the linesman across the way toss the flag. Larry Nemers, a busy voice already. Defense, number 98, offside, five yard penalty. Still first down. Rookie Mike Patterson replacing Darwin Walker a bit too eager. The Eagles defense has allowed only 17 points for six turnovers. Curse a tear on the edge. Jeremiah Trotter the run stopper in the middle. And Brian Dawkins 26 career interceptions 22 forced fumbles. On that back four for Dawkins one of the game's best safeties. Here's Jordan again stacked up after a yard gain on first and five. Keith Adams the tackle. Lamont Jordan is going to have to be the guy for Oakland today because they know going in if they're to win this football game they have to run the ball effectively. They are terrorized by the thought of a, a third and long situation as well they should be because of Jimmy Johnson's blitz package. They want to give the ball to Lamont Jordan and hopefully he has a hundred plus yard day. That's Moss bottom of your picture the only wide out on second and four play action by Collins and throwing deep complete to the tight end Courtney Anderson and he's inside the 10 yard line wrestled down by the honey Jones good well, catch by the big tight end well Kerry Collins had a chance to look around the field after the play action and he quickly identifies single coverage. He sees what he wanted the matchup he wanted his tight end against Dahani Jones Courtney Anderson keep in mind is six feet seven inches tall. Dahani Jones is six one the mismatch favor capitalized. First and goal for the Raiders uh, Jordan with two tight ends Anderson and Flemister. Thirty six yards on the play. Jordan. And that Eagle defense stout against the run. First hit out of the way. You jumped off sides on your first play. Now you settle down a little bit and play ball. No gain. Second and goal. Collins into the flat to Jordan. And he is in the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Lamont Jordan, who leads Oakland with 11 catches in the first two games, and that's his first touchdown reception as a Raider. Well when Norv Turner is looking around for backs to add to this offense he knew he had to have a pass receiver and that is one of the things you get with Le Le Lamont Jordan soft hands and good open field instincts after the catch you can see not only did he make the catch but he had awareness of what was in front of him made the Eagles miss and boy what a beginning for Philadelphia. Sebastian Janikowski with the extra point so the Raiders benefit from starting their opening series at the 50 to get a 36 yard touchdown or a 36 yard pass that leads to the eight yard touchdown to Jordan. As Raiders Sebastian Janikowski he kicks it off win and hood are deep. It goes to Dexter Wynn, the former Colorado State star and he has toppled shy of the 20 yard line. 
And so an early start for the Raiders an eight yard touchdown Collins to Jordan seven nothing. Call that flew opposite of Adams and where he was and there's no way he could make it up. McNabb comes out in a pass formation and completes it to Brian Westbrook for four yards. They get five. Donovan McNabb, sore chest and all. Remember, he was injured in the Atlanta game to open the season. Came back last week, five touchdown passes against the 49ers. McNabb, and, you know, Dan, you pointed out, only 28 years old. It's hard to believe. Yes. <laughs> Seems like he's been around for 15 years. He's been uh, such a dominant player. I think part of that is just his presence to be in his. He's so mature, so he just seems like he's been playing this game for 10 or 12. Play action and McNabb rolling out of the pocket and almost intercepted as coming up quickly from the secondary was Ronaldo Hill. Five year back from Michigan State. Here's the offensive line for the Eagles. Veteran John Runyon anchors that line. They average nearly 340 a man. And Brian Westbrook, speaking of average, is averaging five yards a carry and five catches a game. Westbrook, only 5'8 and 203, made his first Pro Bowl last year. He's out of nearby Villanova. A third down for the Eagles. And a long four. That's a time. Fired down the middle, incomplete, intended for Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens was uh, open at the 40, but had to dive and couldn't quite pull it in. So the Eagles three and out. And a kick for Philadelphia, Dirk Johnson. Last year, his net average, they don't return many on this guy, 37.4 was the best in 28 years here in Philadelphia. And this year, they have not allowed a yard to be returned on a punt until right now as Chris Carr heads up the sidelines and twisted out of bounds at the Raider 45 yard line 40 yards on the punt nine on the return with 11 18 remaining in the first quarter it's the Raiders on top seven to nothing. Dot com. Less than four minutes played in this opening quarter. The Raiders have a 7 0 lead and the ball back at their own 45. Little flanker screen goes out to Jordan, and Jordan weaving his way across the 45 to the Eagle 43 and a first down. Well, Kerry Collins, by using a long snap count, got the Eagles to declare their blitz early. The two inside linebackers showed themselves early. It was picked up, and then Robert Gallery gets out in front, makes a block, and then Jordan does the cutback. I think that all started by Collins using a long snap count, and the Eagles a little premature in showing a blitz. Jordan a couple of catches already and a touchdown. And very proud of his pass receiving ability. And that's Porter caught in the backfield on the flanker reverse. Jerry Porter hit by Hollis Thomas. 7-0 here in Philadelphia. Let's go to New York and Greg Gumbel. Dick and before our eyes and those Bengals 8-8 eight eight last year look as if they're serious about this 2005 year. Randy Moss top of your picture flank and then Jordan in motion in that direction. And second down. Wide open is Moss. Knocked out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Dawkins made the tackle. And we're going to go right back to New York in this NFL update. Thank you, Dick. In free agency that they weren't even going to be competitive. Uh, guess what? They seem to be. Yeah. And playing a team that's very tough to beat at home, the St. Louis Rams. 22 yards on that catch by Moss. First down at the 29. Give it to Lamont Jordan. Trapped in the backfield. Can't get free. And now swarmed as MD Kalu in the second wave makes the tackle along with Javon Curse. And things are happening in a hurry. Left right back to New York. All right, Dick, in India. All right, Greg. Of course, the Colts, one of the seven teams that start this weekend, 2 0. Oh. Second down. And the pass incomplete. Was it deflected by one of the linemen? Javon Curse might have 
like a basketball defender just deflecting the pass into the post. Well, they were attempting to do a tight end screen to Courtney Anderson, and Anderson blocking Curse. Uh, it's all timing, and Curse, you're right, kind of got into the passing lane, forcing Kerry Collins to throw an awkward ball over to Anderson. Yes. And here's what the Raiders feared, Dick. This is where you expect defensive coordinator Jim Johnson of the Eagles to bring an overload on a blitz, but they don't. Collins then throws out of bounds over the head of Jordan. Well, that leaves the Raiders about 50 yards for a field goal, and in comes Sebastian Janikowski. Well, it appears right now that a long field goal is a luxury that belongs only to the Raiders this afternoon after the injury to David Akers, unless he makes some sort of a miraculous comeback. Janikowski is one for three. He's missed two outside the 40. This one, 49 yards. It is sailing. Hits the upright. No good. Bounces back into the end zone. And why is it that things like this seems to happen to Owen two teams more than others all sorts of leg but not the direction Janikowski so reliable but hits the upright 49 yards away last year he missed only three times all season he's missed three already in three games this year out of McNabb out of the shotgun underneath deflected in the air and Warren Sapp has recovered it. It's no, no, he did not pull it in. He had a chance for the interception. And as he met contact himself, it fell free. And oh, that was close. I can't believe Sapp would drop that. I wonder if someone knocked it out of his hand. I think Bobby Hamilton, number 98 to the left of your screen, is going to be the guy that tips it. Yeah, he does with his right hand. But Warren Sapp, very sure-handed. How the heck, you know, keep in mind, this is a guy that's played tight end on offense when he was in Tampa Bay. Boy, that's almost a sure thing for Sapp, and boy, it goes right through his hands. Well, he was a tight end when he went to Miami yeah. of Florida as a freshman. That's Greg Lewis, the wide receiver in motion, and now McNabb throws into the flat and overthrows the mark to Westbrook. Brian Westbrook and some booze now start to cascade from the upper deck. Again, beautifully set up, wonderful pass protection, a wide open receiver, and the ball just gets away from McNabb. It happens. No running game yet for the Eagles. Third and ten, here it comes. A pitch to the wide receiver, Lewis, and he's tackled. Good open field hit, just short of the first down. That saved the first down. Namdi Osamua, the right corner out of the University of California, denied the first down. Yeah, good tackle by to the ten. And Dirk Johnson's punt. He floats it high. Carr. He doesn't call for a fair catch. The kid is bold. The rookie out of Boise State. The Honey Jones makes the tackle at the 19. 737 remaining in the opening quarter. And the Raiders have a 7-0 lead. Owens yet to pick off his first reception. Raiders 7-0. Midpoint first quarter. They start at their own 19. And uh, I think Robert Gallery, the right tackle, might have rocked back on his haunches a little bit. Just Ball wait. start, offense number 76, five-yard penalty. Still first down. 75, and he reacts. Yep. And you could be that much of a difference, but it is. Randy Moss down at the bottom. First and 15, and... Collins cranks it toward the sideline, incomplete to Porter. Well, Randy Moss, uh, we'll keep an eye on both he and Terrell Owens today. Uh, you know, when he's when he's away from the ball, you can see he's still drawing double coverage, although he's hardly expending a whole lot of energy coming off the ball. And here he is out of the slot, working against Lido Shepard. Uh, you notice when he thinks the ball's coming his way, there might be a... A little more glide in his stride, a little more pep in his step. You got that. <laughs> Energized when he hears his number. 
Give it to Jordan into the open field. 25 to the 28-yard line, just shy of the first down where Brian Dawkins wraps him up. And all made possible by tight end Courtney Anderson. Watch to the right of your screen. 83, he just collapses right there. Look at that block. He just collapses the entire side of the Eagle defensive line. Courtney Anderson, they watch him to the, look how he just, there's nobody there. And with Lamont Jordan with the cutback, all of a sudden Dawkins is going, wow, how did he get clear down here without being challenged? Third down and one as Jordan continues to pick up key yardage. Zach Crockett in for Jordan, and he's been their short yardage uh, power runner for the last several years. And Crockett used off and down on the goal line here on third and short has the first down at the 30 and Norv has to be so pleased that his team at least in the early stages has a ground game. He knows that he cannot win this game by dropping back to pass time after time against this Eagle defensive team. They're geared to stop it. It's what they see in practice every day. They're too good but you can run. Jordan stacked up. No gain as Dahani Jones and the Eagles guess right with the pressure coming up the middle on that play. Yep, they did. They filled every gap from the, the run. You know what that means with Randy Moss. Moss to the top of your picture, Porter to the bottom. Down the middle to Porter, incomplete. Deflected by Sheldon Brown. Brown and Shepard, the two young cornerbacks who took the place of Troy Vincent and Bobby Taylor a couple of years ago, and they're becoming stars. Well, two of the best young corners in the game, and that is just, that is beautifully played by Sheldon Brown. Making his move at the last minute to wrap around with the right hand and puts it right on the football. That is just textbook on how to defend by Sheldon Brown. The Eagles defense, Dan, has allowed only 22% on third down conversions. And here's a long third and 10. How many will they bring on the blitz? Collins changing the play and now has to call time. Tosses bricks. <laughs> third down and 10. And Collins hoping he doesn't toss a brick. He'll be under pressure. No, they only send four this time. He steps up with a lot of time. Fumbles the ball. Two Eagles out fought each other and knocked it away. And it might be a Raider that got it though. Somebody came sliding back up, and it is. Oakland keeps the ball. Andy Moss, the man on the spot, saved the fumble recovery by the Eagles at the 35. Randy Moss might have just saved the Raiders about 40 or 50 yards of field position. Kerry Collins right there. Put the ball away, but you can see Mike Patterson just put his hand right on it. And Randy Moss worked his way back. He was coming back to make a block when he saw his quarterback running and ended up having to be the recoverer of a fumble. Here's the top punter in the National Football League the last three years, Shane Leckler. In fact, his average has a career kicker better than anyone in the history of the game. And it's Dexter Wynn. Did not fair catch the ball. He's to the 32-yard line. Tim Johnson made the tackle. Shut out so far, and Lamar Gordon now, the runner, giving Brian Westbrook a break. Josh Perry, the fullback. And it is to Gordon. And the ex Dolphin knocked down at the 36 yard line by Charles Woodson. Woodson, the number one. 30 points a game. That uh, this team loves to be home. They remind me of the Patriots in that respect. Brian Westbrook picking the hole. Flag down as Westbrook has enough for the first down. Ex Eagle Derek Burgess, number 56, made the tackle, but referee Larry Nemers signals. Number 72. Five yard penalty, still second down. In his 21st year, Nemers, our referee, 233 yards in two games. Second down and 15 for McNabb. Good protection. Underneath to the tight end, L.J. Smith. Little John Smith is dead. John Smith the second. He's John Smith the third. L.J. Well, L.J. Smith is just taking that step into stardom in the National Football League. He's become a real favorite tar target of Donovan McNabb because he's got it all. He's got great size. 
got soft hands and take a look you know how he has come along granted Chad Lewis has been the primary tight end here but watch this this could be a 60 or a 70 reception year for Chad Lewis uh, for uh, LJ Smith rather now that Lewis is gone 148 yards leads the tight ends in the NFL after two weeks underneath complete and it's right back the same man LJ Smith who played at nearby Rutgers well keep in mind that this guy number 81 occupies uh, a lot of people's attention in secondaries around the NFL and if you Randy Moss looks on let's see where Terrell Owens is he's in the slot right as you give it to Westbrook and the white jerseys block his path Bobby Hamilton former New England Patriot and others to make the stop you know I'm watching going back to LJ Smith and we watched them in practice and if you didn't know he was a tight end you would say this is just a big wide receiver like Terrell Owens the way he, he can gallop it's the way he moves very fluid uh, reminds me a lot of uh, like a Tony Gonzalez in the in his athletic or a safety standing nearby you would say that he moves and runs patterns like a wideout. Lamar Gordon in the backfield to fake double fake on the reverse and the throw downfield complete from Greg Lewis his first catch today wide receiver out of Illinois now well, that was some nifty ball handling by McNabb talk about freezing some safeties how about faking a reverse in both directions and then outstanding pass blocking up front and how about that strike how about that strike did he get both feet down I don't think so maybe yeah. they ruled he was pushed out of bounds yeah he did down at the Raider 30 trailing 7 nothing late yeah, in this here opening comes, quarter here comes a challenge <laughs> Nor if Turner they was, did rule a force out and that means you cannot review it that call was critical there for the Eagles on first down then Donovan McNabb steps up away from pressure throws to Owens and Terrell Owens has a first down at the 17 Charles Woodson with a tackle. Well in the NFL for a good wide receiver respect equals cushion and that's exactly what Terrell Owens got right there from Charles Woodson who's going to spend a lot of the day chasing number 81 around he has deceptive speed and Charles has got to give him room underneath that's the difference between Moss and Owens Owens will do a whole lot more of his work in front of the safeties Moss would rather work behind Owens in motion McNabb rolls the other way. And then it lobs it intercepted by a big lineman this time Sapp does hang on Warren Sapp seven times a pro bowler and he filtered his way in the middle of that short toss a flag is down at the five yard line however and let's see if this Offense is going to count pass interference number 83 penalty is declined first down Oakland Greg Lewis called for offensive passive pass interference so of course that well Donovan yes. Dick on the scramble is trying to get the ball to L.J. Smith and on the move you have to try to anticipate where your guy is going because it's all improv now and I don't know where he thought Lewis was going I where Smith rather was going but he threw it way behind him that ends a long yeah. streak for McNabb in the red zone not throwing an interception. In fact he uh, was number one among active quarterbacks was, and not giving it away in the red zone was that ball tipped. I think Tyler Brayton actually might have gotten a hand on that ball on first down the toss to Jordan tackled in the backfield for a six yard loss Jeremiah Trotter well perfectly read by Jeremiah Trotter. And that's a middle linebacker's job. If he sees a hole, away he goes. And that six yard loss will be the final play of the opening quarter. One quarter of the book, 7 0 Oakland. Collins of birth here in Philadelphia. Lamont Jordan on second and 16 behind Collins who fires. And no flag there. It appeared that Porter, as he tried to make the catch, Lito Shepard uh, had a lot of hands on him. Let's go back and look at that intercept. Tyler Brayton, number 91, is going to leap perfectly right there. Donovan tries to get it behind him. Right there, he just raises it with his right hand, and it deflects the ball right over to Warren Sapp. So Brayton being 6'6", elevated at the right time. I don't think he even knew that L.J. Smith was right behind him, but it worked out great for the Raiders. 
Moss in the slot to the left on third and 16. And the draw to Jordan. Flag down. So is Jordan at the 15 yard line. Sheldon Brown up from the corner. He's a good for a cornerback, a good tackler. Langston Walker, they're looking at the big left guard of the Raiders. Holding. Offense number 66. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. It is on Walker, declined. And on comes the Lickler and the punting team. Dexter Wynn drifts back to the 35 in Eagle territory. Leckler, 23 consecutive games, he's kicked at least one time a punt of more than 50 yards. His career average is almost 46 a punt. Best ever in the NFL. And he delivers this one high toward Wynn at the 34. Win is punished with a couple of big hits from the Raiders and a flag flies with it. Ryan Riddle, a rookie from California, first down there along with Zaron Flemister, the tight end. 51 on that punt by Leckler. Illegal block in the back on the receiving team, number 59. The 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. CBS, America's most watched network. After the penalty, the Eagles start from the 27, trailing 7 0, early second quarter. The quick throw to Lewis, tackled immediately. Yes, As coming up quickly from the secondary was Fabian Washington, the rookie from Nebraska. Let's go down to Armin. You know, Dick, early on in this season, one of the big stories has been Donovan McNabb's health. He had suffered a bruised sternum and an injury to his abdomen in the first game against Atlanta. He told us, you know, on Friday that he was feeling much better, but I have to tell you, watching him down here very closely, his mobility is definitely compromised as he's trying to move around in the pocket. Back to you. And, of course, that's one of his great qualities, Armin. You know, he's rushed for nearly 2,500 yards as a quarterback, but only has run the ball once this year. Flushed wide this time and then throws underneath complete and ooh, what a hit by Charles Woodson as he drills Terrell Owens. Oh my. Now to New York and Greg Gumble. Dick big hitter. That's a that's a nice opportunity for Adam to get that much open field. Third and three for McNabb. Open underneath is Reggie Brown. Brown, the number two draft pick by the Eagles out of Georgia, has his first catch and a first down with it. Let's go back to Terrell Owens and the penalty sometimes one has to incur in catching a ball. Charles Woodson had him in the crosshairs. Well, Terrell Owens took a huge hit in the game against the 49ers last week and did exactly the same thing. Just bounce up and just carry on. He is a powerful, strong man. Hand off inside to Westbrook, who has a yard or so. That's a good point, Dan. I think a lot of fans, because in uniform, Randy Moss and Terrell Owens look a lot like physically. They're very different. Oh, no. Uh, they are totally different. They are as different as a cornerback is from a linebacker. Terrell Owens is built like a linebacker. Randy Owens, uh, Randy Moss does not have nearly the muscle structure that Terrell Owens does. You know, Randy Moss weighs, you know, they list him at 215. I, I don't believe that. And they list Owens at 225. But they look like there's 30 pounds difference between the two. Second down at the 41. Lamar Gordon in the backfield. McNabb down the middle. Incomplete to Owens. And a flag is down. Woodson may have been guilty of holding much earlier in the pattern. Number 22. Spot foul. Now well, they're going to call it at now. the play. I think that Ronaldo Hill uh, unfortunately got the call. Teenage dancers don't get that no. close. Pump fake by McNabb. Now he goes deep down the middle incomplete. Owens was camped down at the 32 with Ronaldo Hill. And well, awesome, almost overthrown for a pick. Awesome protection by the Eagles up front, but the reality is that Philadelphia has almost entirely abandoned the running game. 
This is a team right now that's run the ball I believe just three times and 15 for the defensive line of the Raiders or that he thinks he can exploit their backfield. All right on second and 10 it's a Westbrook on a draw and he's across the 45 down to the 44 at Jasper a former Eagle at defensive tackle and Kirk Morris and a rookie San Diego State team up on the tackle Brian the defensive coordinator of the Raiders from good defensive genes. Yes I would say so Buddy Ryan his father and and his second year uh, on the job here in Oakland after serving with Bill Belichick in New England so uh, yes he does uh, have a solid defensive backer. Buddy the former head coach here in Philadelphia. Sap and company dig in Josh Perry the lone running back he's a not carried the ball in two years. He's in there to block which he does for McNabb who throws in complete and a flag down as Westbrook couldn't come up with the ball. Ronaldo Hill on the coverage now the flag thrown in the secondary of the Raiders. And third down this could be Illegal costly. contact defense number 36. The five yard penalty automatic first down. These are the penalties that have ripped. But that these ones that keep drives alive are killing Lamar Gordon and he's tackled immediately by Ronaldo Hill and Hill all over the park as he's been covering deep and then he sprints up to make the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Why well, I think the Raiders are playing with the kind of desperation that you would expect them to play facing a, a, a possible 0 and 3 start. They are playing spirited defensive football. They are getting after it. They are getting across the line of scrimmage. And uh, you know they're sitting in primarily just a nickel defense until Philadelphia shows a willingness to run the ball they're going to sit in that nickel. Neither team able to run. Second and 11 for McNabb. Fake to Westbrook and then throw to Westbrook incomplete. And the Raiders had it well covered. Danny Clark the middle linebacker was right there to make the play. McNabb the shotgun with Gordon and Westbrook flanking him. And he's hit from behind by Sapp. Incomplete is the call. And Big Warren loses his helmet in the process as he came in on the blind side of the quarterback McNabb. Well McNabb had time initially. It's a pretty good pocket to begin with. He just can't find anybody. And Warren Sapp lost his helmet not in the hit. He lost it before he hits McNabb. There goes his helmet and Warren Sapp takes two or three steps without a helmet and puts his face right into Donovan McNabb. That was Artis Hicks blocking him. <laughs> they just knocked it off his head. Oh the kick by Johnson scuffed off the right side of his foot and uh, will take a soft bounce and land at the 14. And with that a timeout Raiders still in front with their early touchdown. Back up here in Philadelphia Coy Detmer and he looks as if uh, Dan he's throwing pretty seriously. Yes that is a serious warm up and you've got to wonder Donovan is showing some strain when he runs. He had a good week of practice even though he sat out Wednesday he took all the snaps on Thursday and Friday. And the long pass is incomplete to Randy Moss and three Eagles there with him and Moss still almost snatched it away. Lido Shepard the young corner from Florida able to get a hand on it. Now yeah, what a luxury it is to have corners the way that the Eagles have corners with Lido Shepard and Sheldon Brown and look at look look at the way that Lido Shepard looked into the backfield saw what was happening kept his awareness of where Moss was but then most importantly had awareness of where the football was and was able to go up and make a play on Jordan and Crockett behind the Collins and this is Jordan stumbles as he takes the handoff and gains no yards it'll be third and ten at the 14. Dick back to Donovan McNabb uh, we watched him practice Philadelphia voices are heard on third and ten flat pass to Jordan incomplete well covered Jeremiah Trotter over there the linebacker yeah that that pass from Kerry Collins was a little hot <laughs> Lamont Jordan has good hands but that thing from Kerry had a little zip to it. <laughs> That's a good defensive hold by the Eagles who will get the ball here 9 14 left in the half trailing 7 nothing Dexter win back. And Shane Leckler I'd love to watch a great punter the way his follows through his foot will be high over his helmet as he delivers the ball. Yeah. Oakland used to have a really good punter one day didn't they didn't they. 
This one not quite a perfect spiral and Wynn comes up to the 43. That one didn't have the height and that allows Wynn to progress to the 46 of Oakland. Good field position. Will it be McNabb or Deppner when the Eagles take the attack? Here at a short field. They start from the 46 of Oakland. And Donovan McNabb still at the controls. Pumps. Throws underneath and complete. He intended for Brian Westbrook. Well, T.O. was the man he looked at first. And he's had a busy afternoon. Terrell Owens had dropped the first one that came his way. They finished. Catches, as you can see. One catch, 22 for Randy Moss. Second and ten for McNabb, and another pass play called. He throws wide open, incomplete. Game effort by L.J. Smith, the tight end, as he juggled and couldn't quite pull it in. Well, if if the groin of Donovan McNabb is is having an effect, it might be in his effectiveness in in delivering the ball right where he wants it. That is a wide open receiver. He overthrew him. We saw him earlier have a couple wide open guys and he's had trouble putting the ball right where he wants it. Normally Donovan McNabb is a much more accurate passer than what we've seen so far in this game. He's on an 0 for 5 streak here. Yeah and you know Donovan has a much better touch on the ball than that. Quite in contrast to the brilliant first half he enjoyed against the Niners a week ago. Over the middle complete. And tackled immediately is Lamar Gordon. And therefore Westbrook gets short of the first down by a couple of yards. Woodson and Gibson make the tackle. And the fans are grumbly again. Well, if McNabb is having a problem with his groin, don't you think the Eagles would like try to run the ball a little bit? <laughs> it's just pass after pass after pass. Five runs, 20 passes. Dirk Johnson sends it high, a dying spiral. And caught at the four yard line and oh that's dangerous as a Raider came in and tried to scoop it up. Well actually it's a you, you can't make a mistake there because the ball was, was touched. touched by the kicking team. So it's all plus yeah. if he had taken it for a touchdown that would have counted or if he fumbled it wouldn't have. The brilliant defensive end 55 career sacks but none so far this year. He's lined up against Robert Gallery ball at the four yard line. Jordan hugging the ball as he crosses the five and tackled by Trotter. Well, this was just moments ago over on the sidelines. You see Andy Reid, Terrell Owens kind of talking about what they can do to get him open. Andy Reid told us that, you know, I knew what Owens was trying to do during training camp. He was trying to get traded. He was trying to get out of here. I just don't think he realized what a hard head I am. <laughs> Second and seven. Jordan hit in the backfield by Dahani Jones. Jones uh, had that one well scoped. One of the interesting players in this league. Well, again, the Raiders are just trying to get themselves a little separation, but that was pretty good. You talk about wrapping a guy up. Yeah, that's how you wrap up. You get your arms around his legs and you don't let go. This is a very aggressive front seven for this Philadelphia defense and they believe in the scheme of Jim Johnson. That's so important. You saw Jordan 10 carries only nine yards. Third and long from the end zone. Long throw down the middle. Com incomplete to Moss. He had it knocked away by Michael Lewis the safety. He's 222 pounds linebacker size is Lewis. Well, Randy's a little ginger as he walks. He's right there on the left of your screen working out of the slot, and he ends up wide open there. You can see if that ball would have gotten there just a shade sooner, he might have had a chance to put it away before he takes the big shot from Lewis. Leckler now with his heels on the back line of the end zone. Dexter went out at midfield. Raiders need a big kick. Leckler gets this one up high enough. Fair catch at the 49 of the Raiders by Wynn. 44 on the punt. Pained that thing and caught it. 
And that would have been a big catch for the Raiders. Instead, Eagles start at the 49. Westbrook and Perry now split behind McNabb. Still a pass. And this one is up for Owens. Incomplete. Good coverage by Woodson, and that's why he's made four trips to Honolulu. He had lost the ball, but somehow managed at full run to twist and find it and break up the pass. Well, McNabb realizes immediately with the blitz that it's going to be single coverage. He IDs this in a hurry. You can see him lock in on Owens. It's single coverage, but yes, it's single coverage with Charles Woodson. And again, perfectly played. That's the matchup you want. If you can get T.O. singled against anybody, you'll take your chances, but Woodson was up to it. McNabb completing only one of his last seven. Drifts back again and can't get out of the tackle of Tommy Kelly. Kelly, who led the Raiders a year ago with four sacks, and a flag is down in the secondary of the Raiders. And after Kelly makes the big defensive play, will it be negated by a hold downfield? Hmm. Holding on the defense, number 36. That's a five-yard penalty. Gary Gibson. From the previous spot, automatic first down. That's the yeah. second one called against Gibson. And it's the second time that they've moved to change after an unsuccessful. Especially after you've just sacked the quarterback for an eight-yard loss. Having said that, the Eagles have more penalties than the Raiders. <laughs> From the 44 on first down, the Westbrook. He's got some running room and plows ahead for what appears to be a first down. Fabian Washington, a rookie corner, made the tackle. Well, no surprise that this would fool the Raiders running the football. Only the sixth time this game. And look at the big hole to the right side. Going behind John Runyon and Sean Andrews. Take a look at that. That is a beautiful hole. Kudos to Hank Fraley, the center, with a good block in there as well. That's close enough they're going to measure here, Dan. You mentioned Sean Andrews. Weren't you shocked? Because on the program and in the our information, he's listed at 340. The young right guard who was out last year with a fractured leg. <laughs> what did Andy say? 380 oh, or 385. <laughs> the guy weighed. First down for Westbrook on the measurement at the 34 of the Raiders, trailing 7 0. Lots of time for McNair. Mallory found the open man for a moment, but could not hit Westbrook downfield. Osamua was on the coverage, and McNabb hit as he threw it. Boy, all the time in the world, and you just wonder if Donovan isn't able to step into and really stride into it. Just threw it without stepping into it, and you, you got to wonder if that's the groin. Here's a handoff wide it goes. It's Westbrook to the 30-yard line before Charles Woodson can come up from his corner to make the tackle. Third and six, perhaps are in four down territory as they don't have a field goal kicker. Akers injured on the opening kickoff. McNabb stepping away, throwing and finding his man. First down. Greg Lewis on the sidelines to the 13. Make that the 18. And credit the lines in football. See Greg Lewis now with three catches, 39 yards to lead the Eagles. First down, hand it off. Westbrook weaving his way to the five. Touchdown! I guess all this time Andy Reid was just setting the Raiders up for his running game. <laughs> And now, what will be statistics? There's Seminole, one point. It looks like a Canadian Football League rouge. And here he is. He's the first in 25 years defensive player to kick an extra point. He scuffs this one, it's and it's blocked. blocked. And it was very low anyway. And when you think about a blocked extra point or field goal against the Raiders, you think about big Langston Walker, who is 6'8". But Westbrook... Makes it 7-6. Week against the 49ers, but keep in mind, that was a blowout game, and it was all fun and games. A little tighter now. Bartram with a kickoff, and Doug Gabriel returning for the Raiders doesn't quite get to the 40. A mass of uh, midnight green jerseys there to cover him. And 
they're pulling at the football and the officials trying to pull at them to clear the pile. Andy Moss even comes up with a helmet in the scrum. Two yards. Zach Crockett is the running back for the Raiders. He takes a handoff. And he fights his way for five to the 44. Jones and Lewis make the tackle. And Dan, since uh, Kerry Collins started four for four at the top of the game, he's gone 0 for eight. This has not been a really well played offensively, you know, a game played well offensively by either team. They've been a lot of, you know, herky jerky misfires, uh, open receivers that are being missed, passes being dropped. Second and a short five. And back to Jordan this time, and he stacked up. Very little gain. Again, good defense against the run by the Eagles, who have allowed only 17 points. And uh, when Jordan scored on the flat pass in the first quarter, it was the first touch without this team having a kicker. They're going to have to score more touchdowns than the Raiders are, and, and defensively, they're going to have to just throw a shutout at these guys. Third and short, wide open is Porter, and Porter to the 40, and not a bounds at the Eagle 38-yard line. Jerry Porter from West Virginia last year, a breakout season, 64 catches and nine touchdowns to lead Oakland. Well, again, Jerry Porter is going to be, he had to be the happiest guy in the world when he saw that Randy Moss was making the trip out to Oakland because he knew that that was going to give him a lot more room to run around in people's secondaries. And that was just a well designed play. You could see two receivers in front of him going opposite directions, and he was left alone. His first catch as Collins drifts back and fires again, and open is. Alvis Whitted and he has his initial catch of the game and another Raider first down at the 20 yard line. Well that streak that Kerry Collins went through uh, uh, not being able to connect is over with because this ball is perfect. Look at this again great pass protection but look at that ball right on the hands to Alvis Whitted a strike from Kerry Collins and all of a sudden now the Eagle defense has got their backs to the goal line. Well, they measure the arm strength of a quarterback by that deep out. Did Collins oh. get an A on that one? Yeah, that one left the vapor trail. First down at the 20, and it's Crockett. Tripped up. He falls forward for a yard. Jeremiah Trotter, who left Philadelphia, went to Washington for a couple of years, came back. He is a run-stopping expert. Well, he came right up on the line of scrimmage prior to the snap. And when a linebacker commits himself, he better make the tackle because he's totally out of the pursuit part of the game. So he better make the play. Two minutes to go in Philadelphia. The Raiders by one. They send Moss to the top of your picture. Not a big part of this game so far, though. Only one catch. Lamont Jordan behind uh, Collins. Here come the Eagles up the middle. Picked off. Throw to Moss. He steps out of bounds. Short gain at the 15. Only four on the catch. Sheldon Brown there to cover. Very effective job by the Raiders up front, though, of handling that Eagle blitz. They snuffed it right at the line of scrimmage, giving Collins time to step into that throw. Yeah, they like that number 64, Jake Grove, the center, only in his second season out of Virginia Tech. Yeah, he moved back to center, which is his normal position. He played right guard for the Raiders last year. Third and five, and Jordan empties the backfield. Here comes Curse. He's picked off. Throw underneath to Porter. And he and is I, hit at the 15, a flag down. Mark Simino. I think I think Curse was offsides. I think Curse got a head start. And that'll be close oh. to a first down penalty. It was third and five. It sure looked like Javon Curse got a head start. Defense, number 93 offside. That's a five-yard penalty. The five yards will result in the first down. There he is right there. Yep, he's well into the neutral zone at the snap of the ball. And Robert Gallery did a heck of a job playing catch up just to keep from <laughs> just to keep from having Javon Kurz hit his quarterback. That is yeah. You see, I love that. That's where head coaches yell at the defensive coordinators like it's his fault that that the <laughs> defensive end jumped offside. Two tight ends with Jordan and Crockett in the backfield. First and goal just inside the 10. 
And Jordan, boy, smack right at the line of scrimmage. No game. Good surge led by Sam Rayburn, the third-year tackle out of Tulsa. The truck driver, they call him. Well, you can see for the Raiders that they've had three touchdowns and five trips into the red zone. One other time they had to settle for a field goal. I know that North Turner, you know, 60%, uh, not too bad. They'll take that. Justin Fargus makes his first appearance. He's the running back, third year man out of Southern Cal. Good receiver, and that's what uh, he's deployed. They look for him in the flat. There he is, and he drops the ball. But boy, did he take a hit from Sheldon Brown. Well, the old saying is you're going to get hit anyway. You might as well catch it. <laughs> Take a listen to this. Ball and tackle almost simultaneous on the sound system. And Justin Fargus, he knew that was coming, and it distracted him to the point of being ineffective. First play in the game, he might be going over there to coach. Save me for the second half. Third and goal at the 10. Collins, another flag is down. Oh, that's holding. And it's batted down incomplete in the end zone, but when you're down that close for field goal range, the 10 yards could be the difference as Janikowski has already missed from 49. Holding offense, number 66. Penalty is declined. They declined yeah. the penalty. If they had a 20 yard holding call that would be it. <laughs> Langston Walker what a what a takedown. And so Janikowski out of the hold of Leckler will try what appears to be about a 29 yard attempt No, 28. He missed from 49 this to give the Raiders a 10 6 lead. And he punches it through and the Raiders enjoy a four point advantage. We have 49 seconds left in the half. Philadelphia with two timeouts remaining. Strange. But without a field goal kicker, it, it's touchdown or bust for the Eagles here in, in a hurry up offense. And Janikowski left puts that one into the end zone. There comes Dexter Wynn. And he. Stumbles across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Tim Johnson tripped him up. Donovan McNabb, who does not appear to be 100%, but he's taken a wicked hit in the chest that kind of rearranged things on the sternum. Able to come back last week and have a five touchdown game. And then he's also suffering from a groin injury. And in many ways, the abdominal injury seems to have slowed him. On his rollouts, and of course, if you're the defense, Dan, you got to figure that he is not going to be the scrambling quarterback that uh, strikes fear in the hearts of the defense. Well, it, he still has that guy, and again, what I would like to see is is Donovan show the ability to step into and really, from a technical standpoint, throw a good pass. 42 seconds left in the half. And he fires to the far side. Is it a catch? No. Trapped at the 40-yard line by Reggie Brown. No, but that was a good throw from McNabb. He put the ball the only place he could, low and away, because of that, because of the good coverage. Yes, it wasn't a completion, but they all aren't completion. But I think I think he showed pretty good footwork in stepping into the football. You see, he was able to go ahead, put some weight on that left leg. And that is really that that's really a very well thrown ball from McNabb. And it appears that Andy Reid not going to take a knee here. He's going to try to hope he can come up with something golden. And when you're playing the Raiders you're hoping for a penalty. There's Warren Sapp chasing down McNabb who certainly is not at full speed. And Sapp uh, brings him down on what was an awkward looking no. tackle. And sometimes your instincts take over and that was a mistake for McNabb to run with that football. You know he is what he is and in that situation he's going to play. instincts do take over but that he shouldn't be running with the football. I think it's clear that 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 hurt 
And the Raiders are going to spend a time out here thinking they might uh, get a chance at a punt return or one long throw. Third and eight Westbrook behind uh, McNabb figures to be the man with the call and he does get it. And the flag is down Westbrook waving his way forward and would have a first down into the arms of Stuart Schweigert the safety for the Raiders holding offense number 73. Now the Raiders would decline that except that down. the run was good enough for a first down. And the clock ticks down to 20 seconds left in the half. And we have seen more flags than we wanted to. Third down and long. And here's uh, McNabb where you figure he'll take a knee. Well, he's going to hand off inside to Westbrook who protects the ball as he's hammered at the 19. And the Raiders use their final timeout. Kirk Morrison, the rookie from San Diego State. Who's leading the Raiders in tackles after two games made another 34 yard punt return already. Dirk Johnson the kick it. And it's a good boot. Drives Carr all the way back to the 25. Flag down. And so is Carr at the 36 yard line with just three seconds left on the clock. 56 yard punt by Dirk Johnson. That came at the ideal time. Going to have to get Larry Nemers a uh, throat lozenge here at halftime. <laughs> His vocal cords are getting the work out. During the return, number 27. That penalty will be enforced 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. He's a motive. The Raiders are just going to sit this one out and head to the locker room with a with a four point lead. Randy Moss a tailback and that's the end of the first half with the Raiders leading the Eagles 10 to 6. We'll be back with a sprint halftime report after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Forward to with Seminole and you can see even on one leg he's got enough punch to clear uh, the line of scrimmage something Seminole couldn't do. So we're underway in the second half and Dexter win for the Eagles. And he's out to the 28 yard line. Well the fantasy numbers for this half there is uh, nothing here I think that's going to make anybody all that happy. You can see Kerry Collins less than 50 percent Donovan McNabb less than 50 percent. One turnover there you can see uh, Brian Westbrook came on late in the uh, first half uh, got a touchdown for the Eagles. And not much happening across this front. Uh, you can see Greg Lewis, the leading receiver, with three, although Lamont Jordan does have a touchdown. Donovan McNabb for him, an ordinary opening half. Well, six points for your offense, this offense, that's not acceptable. He comes out winging, and he has his pass blocked at the line of scrimmage. So let's go down to Armand Katea. Well, Dick, first of all, let me start with North Turner and talking to him. He said, I'm very, very pleased with the way my defense is playing, particularly winning one-on-one -on -one matchups all over the field and the way that we've kept Donovan McNabb, injured or not, in the pocket. Speaking of Donovan, and I jogged out with him as he came out of the locker room, no question that groin lower abdomen area is really, really bothering him. He's nowhere near 100%, Dick. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Armin. And he welcomes a new running back, Reno Mahe. We saw him practice on Friday as Westbrook took Friday off. And Mahe... He's a good pass receiver, very quick. The throw down the middle is to Owens incomplete, and he had some running room. And right now, that that's good. that raises huge questions. Terrell Owens was wide open. And again, Donovan McNabb is incapable of missing Owens without being hurt. Wait, look how open he is right down the middle of the field, right between the two Raiders' safeties. The ball's not even in the picture. And it's a perfect pocket up front for Donovan. Just Donovan just can't seem to get the ball where he wants it to go. His mechanics are way off. You see 11 for 26 on stat tracks, only 99 yards and an interception. Third and 10, the fake. And then he rolls up and throws long. It's for Brown, and the flag is down. Oh, that's going to be a late hit. That's going to be a late hit. And again, the Raiders, a dumb penalty. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Derek Burgess, the ex-Eagle, a little too eager, seeing uh, his former teammate there unprotected. 
But there was also another penalty uh, down the sidelines in the secondary, thrown at the 40 yard line of the rape. Defense, number 29, penalty is declined. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 59. That penalty will be accepted, 15 yards, automatic first down. Take a look at that from behind, just burying the helmet. The Lawrence Grant, 26. number 59, on third and 10. Moves the chains, gives the Eagles an automatic first down. That is just, and not only, I mean, not only is it a late hit, but he hits him with the, the top of his helmet as well. I mean, th this is the trifecta. Th this is, this is a bonehead move extraordinaire. Hit it long. Again, that was on a third down play. That's Westbrook spinning out of a tackle and driving into Raider territory to the 44-yard line. First down, Philadelphia. And an NFL update to New York. All right, Dick, we'll take you to St. Louis where Martin has to have the Titans. The, the Eagles have just got to run the football. Westbrook is having some success running the ball. Stay with it. The fake to Gordon, throw to Gordon out of the backfield. Tackled around the ankles at the 36 yard line by Charles Woodson. Well, Donovan McNabb, this is how his season got underway. They lost the game in Atlanta, but he takes that shot right in the chest. That's where the bruised sternum came from. And then this one just moments ago from DeLorence Grant. Just a mindless penalty on the part of the Raiders. And, uh, you know, not to mention the fact that a guy that's that's visibly ailing, you hit him in the back well after he releases the ball. Fake, and then the give to Westbrook. Oh, look at him. Move nice. inside, then outside. Gains a couple. Awesome. Noir able to run him out of bounds. Well, I think the couple he gained is going to move the chains. That is it. How slick is that, folks, huh? Take a look at that. And again, Ryan Westbrook is finding some running room. Give this offensive line a chance to assert themselves. One of the strengths of your ball club. Let them take over. Take some of the pressure off your ailing QB. Westbrook averaging over six yards a carry today, over five on the season. Incomplete out of the backfield of Josh Perry. He doesn't get many chances, but again, the pass from McNabb was low below the waist. A tough play. Well, this doesn't need a lot of analysis. Wide open, and Donovan McNabb just throws a low and away ball. That ball was about four feet lower than he wanted it to be. And right now, Donovan, you, you know he's just got to be questioning himself. What do I have to do to, to get the ball to go where I want it to go? Second and ten from the Raider, 32. And again to throw over the middle, tackled, but not wrapped up as L.J. Smith. Danny Clark made the initial hit, waited for help. Kirk Morrison teamed up to bring him down, and there's an injured Raider on the play. Charles Woodson, and that could be a very critical injury for the Raiders. He's been hawking Woodson being attended. Does not appear to be serious on the sidelines, working on the helmet. Stanford Rout, the rookie from Houston, the second round pick, number 26, has replaced Woodson. Let's see if McNabb goes after him on third and two. And McNabb going to run it. And he's got enough for the first down at the 19 yard line. And takes a hit from Terrell Owens. <laughs> They're hanging up on me. The guy who hits him is Terrell Owens. Wow, boy. Tr training camp conspiracy theories would have a lot of fun <laughs> if they could have seen this down the line. Owens is trying to block for him and gets knocked into McNabb. <laughs> That's, that was completely unintentional. Kirk Morrison of the Raiders knocked Terrell Owens into McNabb. You know that was not his intent. Well, contact by definition brings you closer. <laughs> yeah, not in football. <laughs> As McNabb throws underneath Owens. This is where he's dangerous. Get at the ball. 
underneath and let him run. He's to the nine yard line, very close to the first down. Gibson and Schweigert, the two safeties, make the tackle as Randy Moss studies the play. Well, again, Donovan McNabb showing that, uh, you know, I might be nicked. I might be a little wounded, but I'm still dangerous. He's, <laughs> you can see that this, that just trying to do the simplest things are being a little laborious for for McNabb but he is getting it done. Chains will come out to measure. And it's going to be tight and a first down and goal. Let's take a good look to the catch is really quite phenomenal through his career. First and goal up the middle and the catch by Owens at the four hit immediately and hit by Charles Woodson who's back in the game even though we saw him leave getting banged up he got a really hard hit to his head he went over the sideline and did uh, told the told the training staff what stadium he's playing in what team he's playing for and and they let him go back out come a little hail to the victors yes. well. Not much of that going on lately. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> Second and goal at the four. Thanks for mentioning it. Well, Mark Gordon, the running back. Welcome. The throw. Caught. Touchdown, Owens. Well, again, another demonstration. About with Terrell Owens, you just don't defend the sidelines. You have to defend the middle of the field as well. And Akers comes in to try the extra point. Remember, Detmer is the backup quarterback throughout the league. Usually it's the punter who holds, but Detmer gives them a fake extra point or field goal opportunity. That ball low, but good. And he limps off and the field. Off. All right, let's take a look at the touchdown. Donovan fakes outside, draws the safety, wide open in the middle. T.O. for six. 13 to 10. The Eagles finally in the lead for the first time of the game. Bartram lines one down the middle, one hop to Carr. And here comes the Boise State rookie out to the 40 yard line. So good field position for the Raiders. And with that, a timeout, 10-15, remaining third quarter. The Raiders break huddle, ball at the 39. They're trailing for the first time in the game, 13-10. Trying to avoid an 0-3 start. That hasn't happened on the east side of the bay in 13 years. Collins with a fake. Moss running a sideline pattern. And instead he throws underneath to Courtney Anderson, the tight end. And he's close to first down yardage. Let's go back to the touchdown. Donovan's got to put the ball way up high to get it over a leaping Danny Clark. And then here comes David Akers to kick it. And you can see how much that hurt him right there. But how nice is this? Defensive captain, team leader, Brian Dawkins over to say, hey, thanks, buddy. That's We know you're hurting. And here's a guy that appears to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> By your definition. <laughs> Nothing seems to be hurting T.O. right now. No, he's feeling it. Second and inches. And Jordan caught in the backfield. Instead of going straight ahead, tried to swing wide, but Donnie Jones, the linebacker, denies. And uh, Jordan takes a three-yard loss. Well, again, you can just see that the intensity level for the Eagles has been raised. You can see right now, I thought the intensity in the first quarter and a half belonged to the Raiders, but now all of a sudden the Eagles are starting to get back into this football game. They've got the lead, they've got the crowd, and for the first time now the crowd really starting to become a factor. So from second and inches to third and a tough three. The throw incomplete intended for Lamont Jordan and Jeremiah Trotter, the middle backer, no more for his run support drifting back to break up the play. So it looked good for Collins and the Raiders second and short. They wind up having to bring on the punting team. Well it, it's it's so frustrating for an offense when you get good field position because the other team can't can't 
kick off properly. You get the ball at your own 40, and you can't even muster a first down. That that is a terribly disappointing series. Dexter win back as you look at it from Shane Leckler's point of view. Former star at Texas A&M, where he led the NCAA as he's been leading the NFL since being picked as a fifth rounder. And win fair catch 11 yard line. 8.54 remaining in the third. Yes, America's most watched network. Back to the action. Ball at the 12 for the Eagles. McNabb who throws underneath again. And it's the tight end, L.J. Smith. Short yardage out to the 17. A pickup of about five. Not a whole lot different from a running play. Just one, two, three plant throw by McNabb. The short pattern that's almost a guaranteed success when you throw it to a big target that properly squares his back. Just a again though, Dick, you're watching Donovan McNabb, and you it's hard for those of us who aren't there to comprehend how hard this must be for him because obviously almost every movement's painful. Westbrook off the left side, and he is hit by ex Eagle Ed Jasper, and a solid tackle from the 295 pounder play to Texas AM. And the Eagles, you know, have worked for the yards they've gotten. Westbrook has found some success, but teams all year so far have worked against this Raider defense, not to a whole lot of success. They were giving up less than 100 yards a game rushing coming into this. Now that's because people have been having success throwing the ball, but still this is a pretty stout front four. No gain, brings up third and five. Carol Owens to the left. And he's running deep. McNabb saw him, but has to go down as the white jerseys, DeLorean's Grant, converged on him. Grant there first. Well, that was all the secondary of the Raiders. They just clamped down on everybody from the Eagles trying to run a pattern. Donovan didn't, he was not forced out of that pocket. He just didn't find anybody. Dirk Johnson drives his punt toward Chris Carr. Flag down, and the ball goes out of bounds. Flag thrown way down at the Raider 40 yard line. And you see an illegal touch is the call. And Dirk Johnson delivers the punt again. Dying kick. Oh my, is. Chris Carr hit as he receives the ball by Roderick Hood. Timeout 654 left in the third. 17 straight regular season wins. That to follow the action here from Philadelphia. The Raiders trailing by three have the ball at their own 43. Collins into the flat. Complete to the tight end, Courtney Anderson. Anderson hit, fumbles out of bounds. Raiders will, uh, well, it's an incomplete pass. is waved off by the official. Trotter and Jones teamed up on the hit. No, they are going to call it. I saw one official waved it off, and the other said uh, he was just out of bounds. Oh, there's no question that that was a completed pass. No question about that. He puts the ball away and makes a football move heading upfield. He just gets whacked big time. The Raiders again with wonderful field position. Can they capitalize? Five yard gain on the play. Jordan and Crockett behind Collins. And a flag down. That's going to be a hold on Gallery. Pass complete to Jordan to the 40 of Philadelphia, but it's coming back. Big right tackle, Robert Gallery. Personal foul. 15 yard face mask, number 76. That's a 15 yard penalty. Three Worse five. than a hold. Gallery got his fingers up into the face mask. Let's go to New York and Greg Gumbel. Dick and Dan in St. Louis. A couple of Rams turnovers have been killers. Bulger sacked by Kyle Vandenbosch. Antoine Odom picks it up and goes 25 yards for the touchdown. 24-24. Final minute of the third quarter in St. Louis. Yeah, the two nice. teams who played in the Super Bowl, uh, 34 have it again. Uh, great, great heart showed by Jeff Fisher's team. At the top of your screen, that's Robert Gallery, number 76. And he, we can't see it, but the official, Larry Nemers, was right on top of it, accusing him of grabbing the face mask. 
Second down and 20 now for the Raiders. The draw play to Jordan. Across the 40 to the 42 yard line where it'll be third and 11 and right back to Greg in New York. All right, Dick, at the Meadowlands, the Jets had the lead right up until Fred Taylor burst up the middle for three yards and a touchdown with the extra point. Jacksonville now in charge, 20 to 14, still plenty of time to play in the fourth. And the Jaguars with that great uh, run defense, you're going to have to score some points to beat them. Jordan, the leading receiver and rusher for the Raiders, a busy man again today, and now. Time called as the linesman moves in. And uh, Collins and the Raiders are going to call a timeout. Timeout, Oakland. So with 5.25 left in the third quarter, North Turner's team spends its first time out of the second half. The words are just too good. The odds are in their favor. They've got the personnel, the scheme that's been in place for a long time. They bring more than you can block, he said. Jordan, the lone running back. Moss in the slot right. Quick throw, complete to Doug Gabriel, and Gabriel tripped up at the 50-yard line, shy of the first down. Jeremiah Trotter with that good low tackle saved a first down. Ooh, and that was a play initially looked like it might go for big yardage. And that was a heck of a play by Trotter. Hasn't he had a good game? The yes, he's a veteran from Stephen F. Austin. Grew up in Hooks, Texas. They had to hook the ball carrier on that one. Well, he's got fresh legs, you know, after getting to sit out the opener. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't real pleased about that. And now we have the Trotter territory. 45 to 45 is a neutral zone in the warmups after that little uh, conflict. Luckler to punt it. Drives it high and deep. Let go by Wynn and it bounces through the end zone. Eagles ball at the 20 yard line. And another flag. What else? This is something that looks like it's, it's going to go against Philadelphia. At the moment on the touchback it's the Eagles ball at the 20. Illegal block in the back during the punt receiving team number 26. That penalty will be assessed from the 20 yard line to the 10. First down. The run isn't it now Dallas and San Diego at home awaiting the Raiders and their fans from the 10 yard line and off inside to Westbrook and he's able to burrow for a couple of yards Clark in the middle of the defense to make the tackle with Ronaldo Hill Hill getting a lot of action at uh, safety today. And I can't imagine and how frustrated North Turner is right now having two outstanding field position possessions and didn't get a first down out of either one of them. Uh, that is you don't get those very often on the road and now we'll see if his defense once again can hold the Eagles to not getting a first down and force them to punt and give him a third chance. Well the gallery 15 yard penalty really put a damper on the last chance throw into the flat and it's complete to Greg Lewis. Just shy of the first down. It'll be third and one. Derek Gibson, solid tackler at 215 pounds this season. Uh, under six feet at 5'11. You don't have to be a big guy anymore. Not hardly allowed to touch anybody. McNabb on inches to go on third down. Instead, it's going to go long, wide open as Westbrook. 50, 30, 20, and tackled from behind by Schweiger. What a call by Andy Reid on third and inches. Well, this isn't the first time that Andy has called this. Going to Brian Westbrook out of the backfield. And again, Donovan all of a sudden looks over to the right and goes, whoa, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Derek Gibson, the safety, absolutely no match for trying to run with Donovan McNabb. I mean with uh, Westbrook Westbrook has him by five yards before Schwagert comes over to make the tackle and finally Donovan got one to go where he wanted it to go right on Brian Westbrook's palms 62 yards to the running back Westbrook and a first down at the Raider 19 second catch for Westbrook on the day as you see on stat tracks first down uh, game tracks on the bottom of your screen here on CBS to keep you up to date on all the top players around the league and scores 
Dick, it's all about matchups, and that matchup really favored Philadelphia. Westbrook on Gibson. Westbrook, hand off to him off the left side. He's always able to find a little flat. It looked as if they had him strung out, cuts up field, and gains nearly uh, five yards on the play. Three receptions last year. He had a busy year throwing in over 800 yards rushing as well. He earned his pay last year. The pump fake. McNabb throws underneath. Owens hit immediately, but hangs onto the ball at the five. First and goal as Ronaldo Hill made the tackle, and Owens lets everyone know that he's got the first down for the Eagles. Well, hasn't Terrell Owens just set up shop right in the middle of the Raider defense about 10 yards downfield? He's just settling right into that hole. The Raiders are giving him all sorts of room short of the safeties, and there Donovan McNabb and Terrell Owens are just taking advantage of it. Exactly what they did for a touchdown the last time they were down here. Now Owens picking up the pace now with six catches, 44 yards, and a touchdown. But they've been tough catches. The pump by McNabb able to sprint out of trouble and then throw it away. That was uh, Big Warren Sack. And is it, is, is no. Hamilton after him. And that one left the mark. You can clearly see Donovan McNabb showing discomfort when he ends up on the top of him. Owens lines up in the slot right. The toss underneath to Westbrook for the touchdown. Shovel pass to Westbrook. Bailey set it up with a 62 yard catch and he gets the payoff. Well, it's a sprint out by McNabb. He sells it to everybody. You can see the entire Raider defense sliding down the line. That, of course, opens a gaping hole right in the middle of the defense. Shovels it to Westbrook. That was easy. Akers for the extra point, and he's able to punch it through for a 20 to 10 lead. And Akers says, come on, I need somebody to show me some love. Get over here. <laughs> What a beautifully designed play by Brad Childress. Into the eyes of Chris Carr. And Bartram just hits the top of the ball. A big hopper to Carr. And he's across the 40. And once again, because of the injury to Akers, the Raiders get excellent field position to start a series. Can they do anything with it? Final right. seconds of the third quarter. Right now they've been dictated to by this Philadelphia defense. And again, this has been Monday. Jordan at the bottom of your screen. Took that uh, Mosses. Jordan in the backfield. The throw wide open on the sidelines. Porter. And he's wrestled out of bounds at the 49. Two yards short of a first down. Lito Shepard, uh, the key man on the contact. Now yeah, we keep looking for Randy Moss and seeing whether or not he might get loose deep. His number 18 jersey is the most popular jersey around the country in terms of sales. Second is Ben Roethlisberger of Pittsburgh and you'll see Roethlisberger's number seven when we uh, go to our second game New England and Pittsburgh uh, to follow this one but we've got a quarter to go. Here in Philadelphia, where the Eagles lead by 10. You're watching the NFL on CBS. First down, trailing 20 to 10. They scored on their first possession of the game and only a field goal since. As Collins winds up and throws deep and open is Courtney Anderson, and the tight end is down to the 15 yard line. Well, one would think during the course of the year, with all the attention that Porter and Moss are going to draw on the outside that Anderson the tight end is going to have a lot of fun. Well you would think so and they've got him working on the inside Jeremiah Trotter is one of the guys that's going to try to run with him but you can see Trotter's behind him but that is just a nice hands catch by a huge guy. Boy he just catches the back half of that football. Well done by big Courtney Anderson. His fourth catch as you can see for 82 yards. Now it's Jordan and a flag. As we've gone a couple three plays without a penalty. Rayburn and Trotter make the tackle. 
Linesman toss the flag. And many of you around the country will be illegal joining. formation. Both wide receivers cover the defensive, the offensive tackle. It's a five-yard. To follow second game of our doubleheader today. That should be a good one, and uh, so much at stake in that one early in the season. Collins throwing toward the end zone, incomplete. Anderson, the target, well covered by Trotter and Brown. Yeah, they paid attention. Philadelphia to this point has removed him from this game. He's far out to the right with Lito Shepard on him. The throw underneath is to Porter, so they send Moss across the middle and then cross underneath with Porter, but he doesn't get much either as Mark Simino, extra linebacker in there to make the tackle. But at least the Raiders are in the red zone. At least they are now threatening the Eagles. So they, they finally got the big play to Anderson to give them a little momentum here after offensively having about four or five series right in the middle of the field with great field position and doing nothing with it. They need nine for a first down. Moss far out to the left. Empty backfield. Underneath the throw is complete to Porter, but short of a first down. That'll be at the eight yard line. They need to get to the six for a new set of downs. Oh, but again, very that's that's effective. That's you know, again a pattern. You know, you would think it'd be a good play. You'd think that it would, but it's two yards short. It's a, it's a pattern that just has to be extended by another six feet. Otherwise, what the heck? It might as well have been an incomplete pass. Janikowski on to try a short field goal, 26 yards. He made one from 28, missed from 49. And that makes it a one touchdown game. Plenty of time left. 12.56 in the fourth. Eagles by seven. Campaign again this year. Janikowski down to Roderick Hood this time, and uh, Hood with a fake inside keeps it outside and is uh, brought out of bounds at the 30 yard line by Ronaldo Hill. Well, here's the way Donovan has moved the ball and used it by the Eagles' offense of throwing the football. Josh Perry, the fullback, left in the backfield. McNabb pumping and going deep and there's Westbrook open again all the way to the Raider 35. Charles Woodson with a saving tackle. Well that's all Donovan McNabb with that pump. It starts. Let me tell you something. You can't pump the ball without great pass protection. Look at the pocket. Look at that rocking chair McNabb sits in and the pump freezes. Charles Woodson because look Woodson's looking in the backfield there was the pump with the pump and then the double move by Westbrook that's that and Donovan McNabb said Charles Woodson very aggressive we'll try the double move that time it really paid off 37 yards Westbrook now with a hundred and ten yards receiving couple of touchdowns running Greg Lewis enters the picture and he has the first down but again Haley is a He's a midget at 300. Andrews 380 and Runyon 320. They're mean guys too. I like that. They're nasty. First down for McNabb down the middle and wide open. It's L.J. Smith and I think he fumbled it. And the Raiders didn't get it. It looks like in the sprint. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. As L.J. Smith tries for the extra yardage, he's bumped hard and the ball flies free and the Raiders cover it at the one yard line. Derek Gibson was the man who fell on the football. Well, L.J. Smith is fighting for extra yardage. Watch how he's going to turn upfield. He's put that ball away. Stuart Schweiger. Yep, Schweiger put his shoulder pad right on the ball. And everybody had trouble corralling it. Phil Gibson pulled it in. And wow, the Eagles on the verge of putting this game away. Oakland got a break but wow they're 98 yards away from getting back in it ball at the two yard line Collins good fake and then the throw down the middle to Moss and that'll give them some breathing room near the 20 yard line. 
that was basically a one pattern pass play. Randy Moss was the only guy threatening downfield for the Raiders and Kerry Collins found him in the middle. I think we all know that Randy likes it from the numbers to the sidelines but they took advantage of getting him to go across the middle that time. Moss is on the right side first down at the 19. Lamont Jordan. He is smothered. No gain. Jones and Trotter two linebackers. Well a good look here from behind the Philadelphia defense. It looks like there's something up the middle but the Honey Jones Trotter. Uh, these two really experienced linebackers in their eighth and sixth years respectively didn't overrun the play. They honor their responsibilities stay in their gap until the ball's gone. Lamont Jordan 16 carries only 20 yards rushing. That's getting snuffed. Collins. To Moss. And he has what will be close to a first down at the 29. And the linesman signaling it's enough for the first down. Well, did you hear Randy Moss catch that ball? Looked like <laughs> the chest. <laughs> that thing made a thump when it hit his body. I don't know if Randy, I don't know if he wanted to catch it with his hands. Listen to this. <laughs> that, uh, I don't know if Randy caught that ball because he wanted to or if it was out of self defense. That was a fastball from <laughs> Terry Collins. Who was a pitcher in his uh, youth and drafted by a couple of major league teams. He throws into the flat a dangerous pass but complete to Alvis Whitted. And Whitted who has Olympic sprinter speed and in fact almost made the 96 U.S. Olympic team. Able to gain out to the 43 and another Raider first down. Oakland trailing by only a touchdown. Ooh, and Whitted just ooh, day, daydreaming about if this field could have been one yard wider. I might have been gone down the sidelines. Norb Turner. Signals in the call. Jordan and Crockett now. In tandem in the backfield behind Collins. Good protection underneath. Jordan able to duck under a couple of tacklers and get it out to the 47. Jones and Shepard grind him to the turf. Gain of four. Well, while the pass went short to Lamont Jordan, this is what Randy Moss was doing, going down the middle of the field. Ooh. Well, uh, keep in mind the ball had been dumped off by that time. And veteran Kerry Collins has now completed six passes in a row. And he's back to fire once again. Dumps it underneath to Jordan. Flag down as Jordan tripped up at the 47 of the Eagles near a first down. Trotter, another tackle. Flag in the secondary of the men in the midnight green. And if you're just joining us, this has uh, been a constant occurrence. Illegal contact, defense number 55. Penalty is declined. Result of the play is a first down. They take the catch in the first down at the Eagle 47. They're closing in on the midpoint of this final quarter. Eagles in front 20 to 13 and the Raiders with another drive 7 for 7 for Collins. And he has a man wide open it's Porter. Can't twist away from the short tackling Sheldon Brown. Well, a gain of only about three on the play. Well, you watch Sheldon Brown play and you realize something that it, it, it's it's fourth year and it's time for this guy to make the trip to Honolulu. Uh, everybody else in the Eagles secondary last year uh, voted to a Pro Bowl. Lito Shepard, Michael Lewis, Brian Dawkins. Sheldon was the guy that was left out and uh, he deserves it. This. This is an extraordinary group that they've assembled here in the secondary in Philadelphia. These guys can play. Collins on a string of eight straight completions. 
Make it nine and Jordan 30 25 and the big man from Maryland close to the 20 before Roderick Hood could get him down. Well thrown pass again. That was a beautiful pass. That right over right over his outside shoulder. Look at that ball just perfectly placed. One time that Jeremiah Trotter couldn't get to the man. Well he's got to cover a lot of ground but when the ball is thrown that perfectly. You know, and Jeremiah he's a run stuffer. You get him trying to run downfield with Lamont Jordan that favors the Raiders all the way. Justin Fargus at tailback his second appearance of the game. He gets the call. Starts left goes right inside the 20 yard line a gain of a couple. Paul Grassmanis was activated today. They had originally Andy Reid put him on the uh, sidelines for the game but the injury to Darwin Walker on Friday Walker the starting tackle. And so Grassman is seeing some action former Notre Damer in his 10th year. Fargus stays in Crockett at fullback. Good protection to the end zone incomplete. Oh what a save by Brian Dawkins. Courtney Anderson had a step on him and Dawkins able to deflect it incomplete. I think he might be raising his finger because that's about all he got on it. Brian Dawkins saves the day. This is six points for the Raiders and at the last minute he extends and gets his right hand. Whoa and just barely knocks it away. Well we've we've seen that for the last 10 years out of Brian Dawkins. Dawkins a star in so many ways pass defense he'll blitz you forces fumbles interceptions third down and eight blitz the throw to Jordan incomplete and it was Dawkins again even though he had his back to the play had the sense to turn and leap at the right time and Jordan unable to pull it down as having to throw off his back foot was Collins under pressure. Well they knew these guys in Eagle secondary they know the blitz is on so they know the ball is going to be in the air. It's impossible for the Raiders to have picked up everybody so they know the ball is going to it alters the way they play pressure 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 from the Eagles. Janikowski two short field goals and now a 37 yarder. And it is no good. Oh. Oh. His, his second miss he missed from 49 earlier hit the upright starting from your own two yard line. What a horrible way to finish this drive. This is frustrating for the Raiders all the way down their roster that hurts. Question J is not happy either. Reminder tonight on 60 Minutes a chilling account from an American hostage who double hitter games. Lamar Gordon gives Westbrook a blow. That's Perry the fullback into the flat. Underneath incomplete intended for Owens. And it was uh, Danny Clark diving in front to deny. Well Sebastian Janikowski is not off to a great start here in the 05 season. His first field goal boy plenty of distance but just right into the upright a, a total rejection and then this one here really hurts because the Raiders started on their own two yard line in the fourth quarter showed a lot of spirit a lot of effort in driving all the way down to the 20 yard line of the Eagles and, and all they get out of that is a good workout. No points and chewed up a lot of time yeah. down to four and a half minutes remaining. And in comes uh, Ed Jasper to say hello to his ex teammates drafted by Philadelphia back in 97. Was he drawn on the side? Well, let's talk about it. Encroachment defense number 95. Five yard penalty. Well, the team Still third down. that consistently leads the NFL in penalties and penalty yards. They're over well 79 yards on 10 penalties. They're well over 300 yards in three games in penalties. And Andy Reid now just gets to go from that point on his play calling sheet from third and eight down to third and two and a half or three. And boy that that's a whole different page. That's <laughs> thank you very much. Yes sir. 
Owens comes out of the huddle lined up tight on the right side. And a quick throw in the flat incomplete intended for L.J. Smith the tight end. Nandi well, Osamawa made the uh, play. Yeah, again, and this this is what the Eagles' offense is. This is a team that throws the ball twice as much as they run it. You'd think that'd be a running down, chew up the clock, protect your lead. But the Eagles are what they are. Dirk Johnson and a, a short kick off the side of the foot, and it's going to be grabbed uh, by Mark Simino down inside the 35-yard line, a 31-yard punt. 4.17 to go. Raiders with a ball, down by a touchdown. A soaring eagle gathers no ball. Hex in the fourth quarter overtime. Can he do it today? Plenty of time, 4.17. Two timeouts left for the Raiders. Blitz on, the throw incomplete. There's Lito Shepard knocking it away from Jerry Porter. What a draft that was, Dan. Three years ago to get Shepard and Brown, their two starting corners, and safety Michael Lewis. All in the first two rounds. Yeah, with a first rounder and a pair of number twos. I'd say that's a lot of production. Kerry, Kerry Collins has really had a good day, Dick, throwing the ball 21 to 36, 270 yards. He's got a touchdown, no interceptions, which means he hasn't thrown a pick all year. Oh, Porter had a step that time on Sheldon Brown, but. One of the few misses yeah. by Collins. Well, but that's kind of deceiving because when Collins is looking at Porter, he, directly in his line of sight is Sheldon Brown. That 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 would have taken a like a perfect moonbeam to drop right over the top of number 24 and come in. The Eagles are best yeah. in the league on third down defense, 22 percent prior to today, two for 12 on the afternoon, and that's where those numbers for Collins. Could be a little deceiving because on third down they're not moving the chain. Randy Moss, bottom of the screen, timeout. The Raiders use their second timeout, and the Eagle defense digs in, showing blitz. Penalty flag down. And we probably, yep, yeah, have a full start. With the noise and showing all. Prior to the ball being snapped, full start on the offense, number 18. Five yard penalty, of still third people, down. Randy Moss guilty of the full start. 84 yards now in penalties against Oakland, 11 calls. Third and 15. Well, the receiver. Isn't working off the snap count anyway. All he's looking at is the ball waiting to be snapped. Four man rush, just actually a three man rush. Collins deep to Moss, and that's a first down and more. He's at the 45, the 40, and almost kick free. He would have gone all the way. What a play. Third and 15, and Moss up with an all-star catch. And right in the middle of the field, and right in a lot of congestion. This time he's working with Lito Shepard. Runner was down by contact. Shepard playing his own. It's not his job to run with Moss altogether. But look at Randy Moss breaking some. T now there's something you don't see every day. In the middle of the field in traffic breaking tackles. 31 yard catch and run five catches and 86 yards for Moss and more importantly a first down at the Eagle 39 pump fake by Collins running out of room throws it away clock 316 remaining second and ten Raiders need a touchdown extra point to tie it up. Collins over 300 yards passing. Well, I think he's trying to go for Randy Moss right off the bat. You can see right there that Lito Shepard turns him loose because he's no, he knows he's got Brian Dawkins over the top. And right now in this situation, if you're an Eagle safety, it all begins and ends with you do not allow number 18 under any circumstances to get beyond you. 
He won't be throwing to Moss here. Moss just went to the sidelines. Collins eludes the rush. Lobs it downfield. It's going to be no, not intercepted. Michael Lewis had a beat on it, couldn't quite pull it in. Oh, a dangerous throw from Collins, who has not been intercepted this season. Well, Michael Lewis tried to will this ball into staying in the air just a little bit longer. Just stay up there long enough to get to me. He just, the ball just ran out of gas. It would have been a sensational grab by Lewis if he could have made the play. Randy Moss returns to the Raider huddle. It's third and ten. And you're right, Dick. Collins was very lucky there. Moss, far right. Down the middle. Caught by Anderson. The tight end goes up and spears another. And a first down inside the 25. Well, this ball from Kerry Collins is high. I mean, it is up in the air. And keep in mind, this is a 6'7 guy going up after that. Oh, fingertips. Fingertips alone. And then he re-grips. That is some play by the big tight end. Just a second-year kid out of San Jose State. 6'7, 270. Give me a break. <laughs> 99 oh. yards now for Courtney Anderson on five grabs. First down at the 22. Eagles lead by seven. Another flag. Now two flags. Full start offense number 76. Five yard penalty still first down. Robert Gallery a penalty uh, again on Gallery the right tackle. This first half of our CBS doubleheader, a good one, and more to follow. New England and Pittsburgh, the big game, most of you will see, as Collins on second and ten. Steps up, throws to the end zone, a man open, touchdown! Doug Gabriel! Doug Gabriel's first touchdown, his first catch came today off the injured list, and a perfect strike from Kerry Collins. Well, watch the move. Doug Gabriel here. That's Roderick Hood out and up. The classic out and up. But Hood knows he's got help coming from a safety. But Michael Lewis is way late getting there. Hood's playing like Lewis is in his hip pocket. Lewis late to react to the outside. For the tie. And Janikowski does deliver. And with two minutes and 17 seconds left in this fourth quarter, it's even at 20. 65-yard drive engineered by Kerry Collins in seven plays. A 27-yard strike for the score to Doug Gabriel, a third-year receiver out of Central Florida. And again, we must remind you, if you weren't with us, David Akers, the field goal kicker for the Eagles, is injured, incapable of attempting a long field goal. So here in a tie ball game like this, without a lot of time left for the Eagles, they got to be thinking, they've got to be thinking either something from inside the 10 yard line or a touchdown. On the other hand, the field goal kicker for the Raiders has been a factor. He has missed two short field goals, well, one short, 37, and one from 49 yards, or the Raiders would be in front. But at least he's healthy. And if it comes down to a long field goal, at least they can attempt it with a reasonable chance of, of making it. Eagles have all three timeouts to spend, plus the two-minute timeout. So plenty of time for them as Dexter Wynn drifts back to, along with uh, Roderick Hood for the kickoff from Janikowski. Such parody in the National Football League. Here, the Raiders desperate at 0-2. They played better than losing their first two, but have self-destructed. And now here they are against one of the favorites this year to go all the way to the Super Bowl. Janikowski buries it in the end zone. Touchback Hood at the 20-yard line. Well, let's take a look at our CBS ISO. The right is the actual play-by-play -play camera. Upper left, we've got Doug Gabriel ISO'd, and down below in the lower left, let's watch this offensive line work and give Kerry Collins protection. Three looks at the play simultaneously, but again, that move by Doug Gabriel, that out and up and a late safety reaction by Philadelphia results in the tying score. Well, Michael Gluck and Butch Beard up here said, I, they get it now, the I of the yeah, CBS they, so for isolated. ISO. Oh, ISO. I, okay. Well, then now you guys know what we're talking about. 
Now the Eagles from the 20 yard line. Lewis to the left. Westbrook in the backfield. And McNabb goes to work. He screens it. Westbrook 25. Still on his feet. 30 into the 33 yard line. And let's not forget the fumble on a deep play by L.J. Smith here in this fourth quarter that was recovered by the Raiders at the two yard line that saved the score. What a game it's been. 2020, 200 left. The show off aggravated it and has uh, been able to come in on extra points in the second half, although he did not on the first Eagle touchdown. That's the difference in the game as McNabb on first down. Plenty of time underneath and wide open again as Westbrook. He's been the star, and with that catch, he's over 200 total yards in the game. Well, the Eagles have 20 points, even though they have scored three touchdowns. And, and this is where the missing point comes from. Mark Simino, who kicked one against the 49ers, drilled one really low right into the back of one of his own players, Steven Spock. And uh, that right now is one of the most glaring differences in this game. Three touchdowns should be 21, not 20. Two of those touchdowns scored by Brian Westbrook, who made that last catch. 208 total yards for Westbrook in the game. McNabb being chased and hit as he throws incomplete. Warren Sapp getting his 300 pounds in gear and almost with a sack of McNabb. Well, that's that same play action that the Eagles have run a couple times today. It, it, it takes a long time, and this time working against Artis Hicks, Warren Sapp busted that play single handedly. Sapp with an interception on a deflected pass earlier in the game. Second and 10 from the 50. 148 showing on the clock. Empty backfield. Nab. And whether that was a design draw or whether or not he just decided I, to take it off himself, we don't know. I can't imagine that it would be a design draw. Not the way that, that Donovan's a little gimpy out there today. The Lawrence Grant covers him. Gain of one. And right now the Eagles are letting a lot of time click off the clock by going back into a huddle. They have all three timeouts. Third and nine at the 49 of Oakland. He fires complete. At the 36 yard line to Greg Lewis. And that's a first down. And that is all on their offensive line. What a job they did of snuffing the Oakland pass rush. There was no pass rush. That was talk about giving a quarterback unlimited amount of time to survey the field. Look at this. Look how long and he didn't even have to throw it then. You're asking the impossible of your secondary to cover somebody for this long. There's absolutely nothing in terms of pressure. That offensive line doing a great job. And Juan Castillo, the offensive line coach, one of the fine young coaches in the league. Let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. Dick and Dan, Patriots and Steelers, AFC Championship game rematch. Corey Dillon into the end zone to give New England an early 7-0 lead. You see that game coming up, doubleheader day. And of course it was the Patriots beating the Steelers and the AFC Championship game to go on to their third Super Bowl victory. They draw first blood in the Steel City from the 36 yard line. McNabb again look at the protection look at the time and a flag finally goes down and one of the reasons he had that time is one of the big boys up front had to hold on. Owens he wanted it down deep didn't he. Well does a guy like Owens never not want it down. Well, he looked like he was. It looked like his hand was being grabbed by Asamoah. Did you see that? Or he was grabbing I the could, defender's yeah, hand. I yeah. could. Although I don't know why he would want to pull the defender along with him. Big Trey Thomas, a three-time Pro Bowler. He's ticketed with a hold. The clock important now. We're in the final minute. And the penalty out to the 46 of the Raiders, first and 20. And you saw how many penalties and how many yards, 170 yards and penalties for both these teams combined today. 
Terrell Owens in the slot on the left side, actually playing as the tight wide receiver. Pass complete to Owens. He bobbled it as he hit the ground, but recovers as Kirk Morrison made the tackle short of the first down. Dick Enberg, along with Dan Deerdorf, Armin Katan here in Philadelphia. The Raiders struck first 7-0, and then it was the Eagles taking charge, and here in the second half at a 20-10 lead. But the Raiders with 10 points, the last coming on a 27-yard touchdown pass. Kerry Collins to Doug Gabriel to tie the game, and with 44 seconds left, it's Donovan McNabb trying to drive the Eagles into scoring range. That might seem easy. It isn't because the top uh, kicker many would feel in the NFC, David Akers, has an aggra aggravated hamstring injury and is unable to kick off, nor is he uh, available for long field goals. Meanwhile, let's go back to New York and Greg Gumbel for this NFL update. Dick Second down and five for McNabb and the Eagles. 44 seconds on the clock, and McNabb going for a touchdown to Lewis. Incomplete off his fingertips as Namdi Osamoa there to cover. And again, the play calling by the Eagles has to favor going for the end zone. Just working your way into field goal range is not good enough. The Eagles had all three of their timeouts at the start of this drive. They've had to use two, and Donovan realizes how close he was to winning the game right there. David Akers checking out the uh, he wanted <laughs> checking out the game on the scoreboard. I, I don't know where they would potentially try one, Dick, with Akers as, as badly as he's hurt. Third down and a long five. Empty backfield. McNabb over the middle. Complete. Owens. Terrell Owens to the 17-yard line. First down, Eagles. They call a timeout, their second, 30 seconds showing. So much happening around the NFL. Let's go right back to New York for this update. All right, Dick, in Pittsburgh. All right, Greg, and Terrell Owens with that catch, and that was the Eagles' last timeout. So 17-yard line, the spot. 31 seconds on the clock. Are they within range of Akers on a bad leg? I, I, well, we he barely able to muscle over an extra point. I, I can't say as whether I would think he's too far away. And keep in mind that Donovan McNabb appears to be hobbled a little bit by the sore groin, so his taking off and running with the football not as much of a threat as maybe it ordinarily would be. But right now, with no timeouts remaining. Anything, a, a run or any sort of a completed pass, a lot of urgency on the part of this Philadelphia offense to get back up to the line of scrimmage and let McNabb spike the ball. 50 passes thrown by McNabb today, 344 yards, a couple of touchdowns. And he's back, warming up that right arm again, looking, 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 and throws it away. Coming back to help out was Reggie Brown, the rookie wide receiver. And here comes another flag. And they There's have a... painted the turf yellow today. And this one is down around Illegal the seven yard line. Defense number 21. Five yard penalty. Automatic. Arsenoa called for defensive hold. So this moves the Eagles five yards closer. Refreshes the downs, although that's not of as much important right now as the yardage. And well, I, you got to wonder if maybe. They're not creeping in on where they might send Akers out there. Right now, it'd be about a 30-yard, maybe 29-yard field goal attempt. Westbrook has been a huge player for the Eagles today, over 200 total yards. He's in the backfield with McNabb. The pump fake, the throw over the middle to Owens. He's got it at the five-yard line. All right, now hustle up there. Hustle up and spike the ball. 15-14, and McNabb does just that. With 12 seconds, he kills the clock. Oh, this talk about up right over center. He's blocked five kicks in the last two years. Number 66 to win it. Akers. It is gone. Well, he had plenty on that one. 
23 yards, and the Eagles claim the lead 23 20 with nine seconds left. And he Bartram, who is their long snapper, there's the bounder up the middle. Chris Carr. Time running out. Carr chased by a posse of Eagles, and, and he, that'll be the game. Boy, he's. 23 20. What a win for the Eagles here in Philadelphia.